Hello everyone and a very warm welcome. In this demo, we will add multiple watermarks to documents using Power Automate. So before we get into the demo, let me quickly show you a document. The document looks like this. My boss has told me to go ahead and add an image to this watermark or a text watermark in the background and add page numbers right to the contract such that the contract should look like this. Now, if I need to do these things manually, it's going to be a difficult task. And he has in addition told me that you need to do it for PDFs, Word, Excel and PowerPoint document. Now, that being said, this came up as a task for me and we need to find a solution. So let's get into our Power Automate and let's start building our flow. So first and foremost, for this particular demo, I'm going to use the old designer. Yes. The reason is today when I'm recording this video, the designer is not working as expected. I'll use the old designer, but the logic remains the same. So first thing I need to do is when a file is created. So the first thing that I need to do is add a trigger when a file is created. To the trigger, I can give it a site address. I can give it a library name. Now that I have the properties of the file, the next step would be to get the file content. I'll use the get file content action. I'll select the site name and here I will select the dynamic content as the identifier. So that's good. The next step would be to get the company logo. The company logo is stored in my SharePoint. So I'll type in SharePoint, right? And I'll say get file content, but I'll use get file content using path because the company logo will remain the same. So I'll go into the site and I'll select the image. Now that I have the image, the next step is where the real magic happens. So I'm going to use the Mohimbi watermarking action. Because I want to add multiple watermarks, I need to use the composite watermark action. In this step, I need to pass in the file content. The watermarking data will be the XML data, right? So how do I know what XML to define? So we can type in Mohimbi XML watermarks and the first link that comes up, I'll also add this link in the description section below. Here you can get the XML syntax. For example, if you want to add an image, I'll copy this element. If I want to add some text, I can copy this element. If I want to go ahead and add page number, I can copy this element. Each of the elements are described in details to in this article. So let me go back into my Power Automate and let me copy in an XML which I have defined already and let me paste it in. Okay, the formatting has gone for a toss, but that's fine. I want to change the image path. So to, so to change the image path, I need to pass in the image as a base64 string. So I'll type in base64 and I'll pass in the image. Finally, I'll pass in the source file name. Now I can pass in file name with extension because composite watermark is supported by Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and PDF documents. And finally, I'll create the file back in my SharePoint. So I'll say create file, select the folder. I will store it in shared documents. Here I'll use file name with extension, which is the output of the trigger. And finally, I'll pass in the processed file content. I'll say I'll give my flow a meaningful name and I'll save this right at this point. My flow is ready to go. So I'll quickly click on manual and I'll upload few documents out here. Perfect. So I have uploaded a mixture of documents, Word, Excel, PowerPoint and PDF, right? So this should trigger my flow and let's see the output. So it has picked up the document, it has got the file content, it has got the image content. This is where it's adding a composite watermark and it's creating the files. So the files should be created in the documents folder or the documents library. If I refresh, the files are here and they are all created a few seconds ago. So if I open the first file, this looks good. So here you see it has the Mohembi logo. It has the confidential watermark and it has the image. So let me open the other files real quick and show you the output. So first I'll try to open the Word document and here you see 
it's nicely done. Now this is two pages, so it has got two pages in, which is good. And if you see, it automatically put in page two of two, so that's awesome. Let's look at the PowerPoint. Same here, it has a confidential watermark, page one of three. That's good. And then finally, the Excel file. So in Excel, the watermarks are usually present in the print view. And if I go quickly and show you the print view, this is how it looks. I hope this quick demo was informative. Thank you for your time. Have a great day and bye-bye.